All right, guys. So the first question here is, what part of the cell divides during mitosis? A. Plasma membrane. B. Cytoplasm. C. Nucleus. D. Mitochondria. And the correct answer is uh, nucleus. So mitosis involves the division of the nucleus. All right. Next question. Number two, the only application usually occurs A, before mitosis, B, during mitosis, C, after mitosis, D, at all times. The correct answer is A, before mitosis. So DNA replication occurs during interphase, which is a period before mitosis. Move to the next question. Number three, mitosis has the following phases except prophase, interphase, metaphase, telophase. And the correct answer is B, interphase. So interphase is not a surface under mitosis. Number four, the last phase in mitosis is A, anaphase, metaphase, telophase, prophase. And the correct answer is telophase. So telophase is the last phase in mitosis. Number five, the following activities occur in prophase except A, condensation of chromatin into chromosome, B, formation of spindle fibers, C, pairing of homologous chromosomes, D, movement of chromosomes. And the correct answer is C, pairing of homologous chromosomes. So homologous chromosomes do not identify each other. They do not, they do not pair up during mitosis. They do that in meiosis. Number six, chromosomes usually arrive at the equator at prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. The correct answer is metaphase. So metaf during metaphase, the chromosomes arrive at the center of the nucleus, which is known as equator or metaphase plate. Number seven. A major event at anaphase is separation of sister chromatids, attachment of spindle fibers to centromere, genetic recombination, division of cytoplasm. The correct answer is A, separation of sister chromatids. So sister chromatids separate during anaphase to become individual chromosomes. Number eight, what proteins attach spindle fibers to centromeres? Kineticals, histones, centrosomes, centrioles. The correct answer is kineticals. So kineticals are proteins that helps with attachment of spindle fibers to the centromeres of chromosomes. Number nine, which of these is not an importance of mitosis? Increase in cell number, replacement of dead cells, formation of haploid gametes, transfer of genetic material. The correct answer is C, formation of haploid gamete. So mitosis do not involve formation of haploid gamete. It is meiosis that involves the formation of gametes. Next question. Number 10. Which of these organelles is absent during mitosis? Centrosome, mitochondrion, ribosome, nucleolus. The correct answer is nucleolus. So during mitosis, the nucleolus disappears. Number 11. During which of the cell cycle does mitosis occur? G1 phase, S phase, G2 phase, M phase. The correct answer is D, 
M phase. So mitosis occurs during the M phase, which is a cell division phase. The M stands for mitosis or meiosis. Number 12. What is the main purpose of mitosis? A. To produce gametes. B. To repair damaged cells. C. To create genetically identical daughter cells. D. To produce genetic variation. The correct answer is C. The main purpose of mitosis is to create genetically identical data cells. Number 13. What structure helps organize and separate chromosomes during mitosis? Centrosome, nucleus, ribosome, Golgi apparatus. The correct answer is A, centrosome. So centrosomes form the mitotic spindle, they form the spindle fibers that help to separate chromosomes during mitosis. Number 14. What is the result of mitosis? A, two daughter cells with half the number of chromosomes as a parent cell. B, four daughter cells with the same number of chromosomes as a parent cell. C. Two data cells with the same number of chromosomes as a parent cell. The correct answer is C. So, mitosis gives rise to two daughter cells with the same number of chromosomes as a parent cell. The parent cell begins with 46 chromosomes and the two daughter cells end up with 46 chromosomes. About 15. Which of the following defines cytokinesis? The process of DNA replication, the division of the cell's cytoplasm, the alignment of chromosomes at the equator, the separation of sister chromatids. The correct answer is B. So cytokinesis is simply the division of the cell's cytoplasm. Number 16. In which phase of mitosis do chromosomes line up along the equatorial plane of the cell? Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. The correct answer is B, metaphase. So, to the metaphase, the chromosomes line up at the center of the nucleus, which is known as the equator or metaphase plate. Number 17. The cell grows and prepares for DNA replication during A. G1 phase, B. S phase, C. G2 phase, D. M phase. And the correct answer is G1 phase. So during the G1 phase, the cell grows, multiplies its organelles, carries out its activities, and then prepares for DNA synthesis, which is the next phase. Number 18. Which of the following sentences about mitosis is true? A. Mitosis produces haploid cells. B. Mitosis produces genetically diverse cells. C. Mitosis occurs in somatic cells. D. Mitosis occurs only in reproductive cells. So the, the only answer that is true here is C. Mitosis occurs in somatic cells. Mitosis do not produce haploid cells, do not produce genetically diverse cells, and it occurs in both somatic and reproductive cells or sex cells. Number 19. What is the role of kinetical during mitosis? A. To condense chromosomes. B. To attach spindle fibers to chromosomes. C. To break down the nuclear envelope. D. To replicate DNA. The correct answer is B. To attach spindle fibers to chromosomes. So kinetics are proteins that help with the attachment of spindle fibers to chromosomes, especially during the metaphase. 20. 
during which phase of mitosis do chromosomes decondense and nuclear envelope reforms? A. Prophase B. Metaphase C. Anaphase D. Telophase The correct answer is D. Telophase Telophase is the last phase in mitosis and during this phase the chromosomes decondense back to chromatin, the nuclear envelope reforms and even the nucleolus reappears. 21. What initiates the process of mitosis? A. Synthesis of new DNA B. Central replication C. Activation of cyclin-dependent kinases D. Breakdown of nuclear envelope The correct answer is C. Activation of cycling dependent kinases. These are enzymes that helps with the process of mitosis, that helps initiate the process of mitosis. 22. Which of the following, which of the following accurately describes the number of divisions in mitosis? A. One division. B. Two divisions. C. Three divisions. D. Four divisions. And the correct answer is A, one division. Mitosis is just a single cell division. 23. What is the primary function of G2 checkpoints in the cell cycle? A, to ensure DNA replication is complete. B, to check for DNA damage. C, to regulate chromosome condensation. D, to initiate mitosis. The correct answer is A, to ensure DNA replication is complete. 24. What is the function of the cleavage furrow in cytokinesis? A, it separates the daughter cells. B, it forms the mitotic spindle. C, it organizes the chromosomes. D, it assists in chromosome condensation. The correct answer is A, it separates the daughter cells. So the cleavage furrow is what helps with the separation of the daughter cells during cytokinesis. 25. What structures are responsible for pulling chromosomes apart during mitosis? Centrioles, Golgi bodies, endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes. The correct answer is centrioles. So centrioles are components of the centrosomes that helps with the formation of spindle fibers that pulls the chromosomes apart during mitosis. 26. What is the purpose of mitosis? To produce gametes, to repair damaged tissues, to create genetic diversity, to produce identical daughter cells. And the correct answer is D, to produce identical daughter cells. 27. At what stage does cytokinesis begin? Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. The correct answer is anaphase. So cytokinesis begins at anaphase. 28. When does cytokinesis end? After anaphase, during telophase, after telophase, during interphase. The correct answer is C. So cytokinesis ends after telophase. 29. What is the longest phase in mitosis? Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. The correct answer is A, prophase. So the prophase is the first and longest phase in mitosis. 30. What is the shortest phase in mitosis? Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. So the correct answer is C. Anaphase is the shortest phase 
in mitosis. Please like this video, share it with your friends, and let me know your feelings in the comment section. Thank you.